What's up, guys? Y'all ready to do a podcast? Yeah, I figure so. Why not? Anybody got any like, good topics for today and stuff? Uh, you seen any, you seen any movies recently? Oh, well, I have one movie that I'm going to go see. What movie is it that you're going to go see? Indianapolis Jones. You mean? No. I'm in Indianapolis Jones. Okay. Oh, 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 on a scale from one or ten, how likely are you guys to go see it? I don't know. Probably like a five for me. Hmm. I guess if I was, uh, well, I, I, I don't. I've been so disappointed in the in, the past Indiana Jones movie that uh, I, I'm going to give it a three. Oh, don't buttercoat it, Barrett. <laughs> I don't. I, you know, guy. doesn't like him good movies. Yeah. Well, hopefully, he uh, come to terms with it. So what? What kind of turns? He, you know, like hopefully he comes to terms with it. Like he gets around it. Oh. You guys, <laughs> yeah, that that makes more sense. <laughs> Making me uh, okay, you Heisenstein. Mean. Like you're the genius. Come I didn't on. know if you were spelling comes to turn C U M or C O M E. Sure, okay. Where you was going with that? Okay, Trey, I need you to know you need to do unto others as you do unto you. Right. I hear Get that it. in church. Because honesty is just a test policy. <laughs> right. The rest of us are, in Barrett, a way, Barrett, let. Guy bonds be guy bonds. We don't have to go any further. If Trey wants to be that way, he can be that way. Like Guy Ritchie? Make my words. It's going to come back around to you. Is anybody else? But I don't blame you because beauty is in the eye when you hold her. Uh, Zach. And you could also bring her breakfast, breakfast at bed if you want to. Mm. Are yeah. you are you hearing the words that are coming out of your mouth? I don't think he is. What are you talking about? I think he's had a stroke. <laughs> no. He's talking like Yoda. I did feel kind of like I woke up on the left side of the bed today. <laughs> left, wrong. I, I see what you did there. <laughs> what? Does, does he see what you what he did there? <laughs> listen, listen, you guys. I'm gonna leave it with this. It's better to have one bird in your hand than two up your bush. That's fair. And those are li- words to live by. What happened to the stones? Uh, you mean two stones burned at once? Or two birds stoned at once? It's one of those. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You guys act like you never heard any of these old sayings. I don't know about you, Barry, but I think I'm ready to go. I. Uh, You're still going to see Indianapolis Jones? At least give it a try. I said a five. Okay. It's a strong maybe. The presenting sponsor of this week's episode of the All About Nothing podcast is CompQuest. Whether you're in need of computer repair, custom-built systems, or system upgrades, you can count on CompQuest. I know in my past I've had several computers that have been built by CompQuest, and I am still pleased with them. It's been a couple years, but they run great. In fact, they have the ability to be upgraded, and I can count on CompQuest to take care of that if necessary. Whether you're a power user or just looking to surf the internet, Whether you're looking to upgrade your office, if you work from home and you need to build a PC to maintain that office or that workload, you can count on CompQuest. For more information, you can visit comp-quest.com. That's C-O-M-P-Q-U-E-S-T dot com. They have all the solutions you need. Give them a call, 770-676-CUDA. That's 770-676-2832. Or again, you can get more information by visiting compquest.com. C O M P dash Q U E S T dot com. The All About Nothing podcast may have content and language that is inappropriate for some. Listener discretion is advised. I'm James Will Jones, and this is the All About Nothing podcast. Recorded from the GOG Sound Studio in Lexington. With Barrett Cooper, Zach King, and Trenton Clark. Welcome, nothing else for the All About Nothing podcast. This is episode number one hundred and fifty-eight. I'm Barrett Gruber, joined by Zach King, Trent Clark. Welcome, fellas. Wow, this is the first time you said our names, and we were like in, in order, order of yeah. saying the names. It's, it's hard to do that. Hey, uh, let's give a warm welcome to Shiana, Reiki master, uh, massage therapist, and the hostess of the podcast. Who are you calling holistic? Hi. I don't know if I did the expression. No, you gotta say it. Put a little, put a little more neck into it. Put your neck. Who are you calling holistic? There you Who go. Who are you calling holistic? There you go. 
Uh, everybody, please subscribe to the show. That's how we get new listeners. Please also consider supporting us financially by visiting theallaboutnothing.com and becoming an official member and proudly call yourself a true nothinger. Uh, we do have a bunch of membership tiers available, so you can get uh, early access and uh, exclusive content is available. Also, if you join up and, and pay us some of the some of that hard earned money you all make. Correct. Also, if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, you think we're worth it, give us a review and hit five stars. And if you're not on Apple Podcasts, give us a review there if you can. Uh, share the episode with your family and friends and uh, follow us on Twitter at AAN underscore pod and Facebook at All About Nothing US and interact. Just uh, search for the All About Nothing podcast and visit our website for links and details, theallaboutnothing.com. And with that out of the way, welcome. And I will say this too. If you are a patron or you go to our website and, you know, give us money, become a member, do get in contact with us because I'm going to assume that you can get in contact with us. And we will do things like if you want a special recording or a shout out or anything like that. We yeah, can, we can do that. Absolutely. Actually, if, if if when when you sign up, I will send you an email uh, to ask for your birthday because we'll ask you. We'll, we'll put you. We'll do our birthday list and, and, and whatnot. So. Months of Trent's only fans. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I'll send you Trent's only fans. I'll send you his password, too. I just got one question for you, Barrett. Now, yeah. for the um, the politician friends that we have of the pod, if they donate to us. Via their politician funds, will they be in trouble? Uh, there would there would have to be a form filled out that uh, that oh, indicates God. that it was a. a, a oh, oh, they're paying us. Yeah. Oh no, they can pay us. All oh, time. okay. With the with the funds from that. You hear that, Bill? Yeah, sure. See, Stormy Daniels just could have got away. Could have got away, <laughs> Trump. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, I did. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> gotta find a loophole, man. Uh, Zach and I recorded uh, Saturday, uh, and we put that show out on Sunday while you were working at the the, the venue. Correct. Y'all could have uh, Facetime me. It's cool. Could have. We did. It would have been the loudest Facetime. <laughs> it would have been. It would have been awful. Like uh, you thought the sound. We was, were there. Yeah. yeah. I definitely would have put Maurice on camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so last week, of course, we went to the Coheed and Cambria show, and you got to hear me and Zach talk about it. But Trent is here. And uh, I I would really like for Trent to give his reaction to to the actual show. Light show was one of the best I've seen as far as like Coheed. Yeah, Coheed. They definitely had a gr- amazing light show. Um, I feel like they took a lot of time with their light show because Incubus light show wasn't Generic. as yeah. It was kind of like okay, you're just using the house lights, kind of. Gotcha. They kind of like bought their own. They had like posters in the background, so it was very cool. Um, I'm also um, under the assumption that. I know why Zach loves Kohi so much because they are devil worshippers, and uh, <laughs> and that's just how I'm gonna end it. Like um, I yeah, feel like that's yeah, right. I feel like I've seen the devil like three times during their set, and they had and they only did like six songs. Trent saw a demon bicycle and was like, "Satan, I'm out." I mean, I seen a I seen a demon behind in front of a little girl, and I'm like, "What? What is this?" I'm like, "What is this? You, what's going on?" You, you did not. See, you, yes, I know what I seen. It was a little girl, <laughs> and then it was a demon behind her with his mouth wide open. I gotta find that picture because I don't know I did. I don't. Yeah. I, so I you don't weren't paying attention it. because you did you blink it just the right time. Zach, no, I knew been, exactly. What you was may going have been on. fist pumping too hard. Yeah, you probably Screaming. you had your eyes closed the whole time crying because you couldn't believe they were on stage. You like, bro- I'm seeing them for the eighth time again with my praise hands up, <laughs> just worshiping. <laughs> like, yeah. I did do my dragonfly, and you, you were did. Like, you were like, "What was that?" He's throwing up gang signs at a at a, <laughs> a dragonfly at an all white show. He's throwing up gang signs. I'm telling you, dang, well, I'm safe. Uh, so, uh, so, but you had a good time. Oh yeah, um, I told everybody that you know I, I'm a big Incubus fan, and I've been a, a big Incubus <laughs> fan my whole life. And I lied been, to a lot of people. I've been waiting my whole life to see the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I think you got the gist of a song. Yes, you're like this, whatever somebody brings. Well, I think I think one of the cool things about what we did last week was this was what like our second outing. Like, yeah, we don't bond this a our lot. Third outing. Uh, we we, we should be going to a lot more uh, Firefly games fun, with all of us being June so 10th, close to June the. 10th, you guys gonna come? June I 10th? I am uh, actually going June 10th. I don't know about right. June 10th. I don't know. June 10th is a Saturday. It's fireworks, a Saturday. Fireworks. fireworks game. Okay, we'll, we'll so, see if uh, we can schedule it in. We also, all about nothing crazy there. Also, shout out to uh, John Kosas Jr. for uh, for our Fireflies update. We appreciate that. Thank you, John. Uh, we want uh, them. We want them um, box tickets soon, sir. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, and we have to pay for those. Oh, uh, come on, John. <laughs> Make some shake. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Shiana's here with us, and of course, like I said, she hosts the uh, the the Say it podcast. Right. Yeah, who um, you call on holistic? Yeah. I'll just take it over mm. for that. Mm-hmm. No, I, I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm leaning over. A lot. Put, uh, no, look, like put, I keep, I keep that, uh, little, <laughs> that little back thing right there. Flip, yeah, 
There you go. There Boom. Go. I gave it. I gave it one more turn. All right, now there, there we, we go. go. Never mind. I, it's me. For yeah. everybody that's out there watching on YouTube, this is the first time Barrett has actually shown his legs on camera, so he's a little. <laughs> It's a little perturbed right now <laughs> about what's got going on. Well, it's either that or I'm 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 manspl- I'm manspreading. Well, like I'm me. manspreading across. You just gotta the- let it breathe, well, man. There was that time that y'all did the OnlyFans uh, chocolate and peanut butter. Oh yeah, that's right, mm-hmm. the R. Kelly edition. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! Right. Yeah, I, no. I can honestly you know, say you I took him out on home back. You know how he did it on Dave Chappelle to poop on you thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to take it there. So, so moving on. So before the show, uh, we uh, Shiana uh, brought in some uh, weed. Guess, well, weed, yeah, but also uh, some shrooms. Uh, and and so through the course of this, uh, I'm not going to tell you who did them, uh, but just enjoy the podcast because there's a potential that you may see some transitions as we as we go. Um, Again, this wasn't. The, you're gonna have to figure out who it was that that that, that did them. Well, Shiana, what it, explain about the process and what people get away from it. Okay, so I I also want to throw out there that like I I encourage people to set an intention when they do these things because it is it is a medicine. It's plant medicine, and um, a lot of people have experienced less anxiety. They feel just more themselves. Um, they feel. Like they can think better. And I know for me, what it does is I have ADHD, so Mm. I don't take Adderall. um, But when it's untreated, (laughs) it is noticeable. I was going to say, I have Discovery Plus. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And it has like this this way of organizing the chaos so that it's more concentrated on what you need to focus on and deliver it in that way too. Yeah. Because usually it's like a clusterfuck up there. Yeah. But then Mm. it's like, oh, okay. I know how to I know how to sort through this. Nice. So that can help sort through the grief, it can help sort through anger, it can help sort through just the chaos that is human. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so one of the things that I I discussed with Zach uh, on the last episode and uh and Trent knows from me well enough that uh I have over the course of the last couple of years found that I am suffering from social anxiety mm. to the point where I I don't want to go on like I don't want to go places I don't mm-hmm. want to do anything mm-hmm. I don't want to be around a bunch of people and uh, I have been told that uh, with some of my friends that are that are military that um, they have started doing Delta Nine yeah. for well so but because they can't get anything legal oh, and right. have it show up right. because yeah. right. that'll mess up your veterans affairs right. don't show up uh, yeah. Shrooms don't show up. So mm. that was that was going to be my question. Is, <laughs> that, is that something that could potentially? Yes. Okay. Yes. And there, I mean, more and more information is coming out now. And I tell, I encourage people to watch uh, shows like uh, How to Change Your Mind and Fantastic Fungi to understand why the limits are on these therapies and what the potential is out there for these therapies to exist um, for like PTSD even. Yeah. Um, and OCD, like the list goes on. And I will say, um, cause I didn't want to interrupt you, but whenever you said suffering from, I encourage, cause I coach people with mind mindfulness things instead of saying suffering from say experiencing. Okay. Mm. Because doesn't that, doesn't it feel lighter? Uh, it, yeah. That does feel lighter. I, I also recognize that I, I, my suffering then falls on others. Mm. Is you know because you guys didn't because his name is concert. Bear Rit. Yep, well, we found yeah, we that out last combo. time. We had remember? that combo before. <laughs> uh, but at the concert, I you know I encouraged them to the the three of you to to go off you know go over where you wanted. I'd he treated us like we were his kids. He was like, "Y'all just go off, and well, I'll be back here." <laughs> fine. Go to the water park. <laughs> Of of the two of you, uh, you're the only one that could potentially be my kid. You're right. <laughs> just, you just know. got a point. I mean, genetics unless, are tricky. Well, unless a young kid, <laughs> the bear was the bear. out doing shit early. <laughs> I look. It's been cases. I uh, there's yeah. been cases. Yeah. Um. I I guess uh, Trent has never this. Uh, if if Trent's the one. Uh, he's really, he's, you're, he's you're, you're, you're really bad at this. <laughs> I'm just let you know. I'll let you know. You're really bad at this. Look, allegedly. It, I, allegedly. Everybody out there in TV land, do not get pulled over with Barrett because he's going to be like, I don't have the weed. 
But maybe Trent does. <laughs> maybe it's in the car. It might be in the car, maybe. but it's not mine. Like, what the fuck? Because Zach's also in the car. <laughs> but I know it wasn't me, so. I think one time. <laughs> it bad count. But hey, Trent, have you, have, you done, have you ever done shrooms before? Never. Uh, Jared, shout out to CBD Station, has always. That's $15. Yep. Has <laughs> always um, tried to get me to do a podcast. And come on with you guys and do it. And I'm like, I think it'd be a, it'd be interesting, but I'm not sure if they'd be down with it. And who knows? So, I guess you just have to ask the right person to just come in here and, and change and, and your mind. Change people's minds. Jared has tried to uh, send me enough text messages to convince me to either have him come on the show or, or whatever. And Correct. with scheduling just doesn't work out, but we got to get, we got to get him right. Jared needs to be more pushy is what I, re- I really thought you were about to be like, Jared has tried to um, <laughs> blackmail me with nudes. No, it just boils down to this. If you want to sell yeah, something, doing, get a woman doing, to do it. But, he, <laughs> but, but Jared, you know what I'm Jared's doing it backwards. He is keeps he, he keeps spending, sending me nudes. So, <laughs> like, like that's that's not blackmail. That's why is your dick is te- on my phone? It's terrorism, is what that is. Uh, is yeah. he a black male? No, no this is oh, a white okay. man, and right. his last name is actually. Black male could have had the double entendre. His there. last name is White. Enjoyable. You know. Okay. Yeah, this is right. a real white person right, right there, Jared right. White. I have Smith. said Trent Clark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have My done. mom was smart. She wanted I've me done, to get hired. <laughs> I've done I've done mushrooms before, and I will say this: they do, like, not when you full on do them, because then you can go way too a macro dose. Yeah, when you micro dose them, it does center you. It does clear your head up. And it lowers anxiety, things like that, where people who are able to cope with their what's affecting them with marijuana, more power mm-hmm. to them. I'm not one person who can do that. Mm-hmm. It does not work. And then the other turn is you could do more harmful things like alcohol, which will subdue any anxieties. Mm-hmm. But the ramp up from that is mm-hmm. just catastrophic. It really is. I do think it's a positive, And I think it's one of those things that like weed has to lead the way for it right now because that's at the front. But it should be right there behind it. And so, I feel like it's it's up there with weed already. A state like, just legalized uh, California. Um, all psychedelic drugs are Colorado. legal. Colorado. Colorado, too. Colorado, Colorado just, too, yeah. yeah. So shrooms are not legal in South Carolina. At all. Technically, no. <laughs> You're going to get busted. But they grow in our front yards. <laughs> they grow in uh, our front yards when it, after it rains or after so, the dog poops. But that's my, uh, <laughs> so so that, that's a, that, that raises a question There's, for me is that. Yeah, welcome to South Carolina. You, cows, bovines, it's, it's so, everywhere. <laughs> shrooms the 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 type that are going to give you some sort of an effect not just like your regular grocery uh, you know produce department shrooms right. shiitakes what what are the shrooms Part that are used for macro do- my, you said macro dosing there's macro dosing and micro dosing okay i tell you what first explain the difference between macro dosing macro is big micro is okay. small so a macro dose would be like four and a half grams that's what i i think people when they imagine people doing shrooms, that is what their go-to is in their image. They think that the mm. walls are going to be melting. They think that, you know, things are not appearing as they seem. Correct. That's their go-to in their head, especially because of what uh, has been pushed. And stuff, yep. Yeah. Gotcha. And I'm you seeing know. a cow right now. I don't know if y'all know this. But this is a real cow <laughs> in front of us. And the micro is A smaller, micro is right? like a tenth of that. Mm. So okay. a microdose can be even 1.75 to... Mm. To 0.5, 0.5 is more of a, I know Paul Stamets, he's one of the, you know, pro, what's the word I'm looking for? Pioneers in the mushroom industry. And he was doing a speech and talking about shrooms and he mentioned how a microdose doesn't make you feel inebriated. Okay. So a microdose is just going to give you more of a clear head. It's going to give you more, um, it's a subtle mood enhancer is what I call it. And um, I think psilocybin is more effective than antidepressants. Okay. Um, how is how are uh, you know, macrodose or microdose? How are how are shrooms manufactured? Because what I saw was a pill mm-hmm. with powder in mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So, so how- it, it comes out as a sh- as a mushroom, as you would see in the grocery store. They're dried, mm. and. Um, you can put them in tea. I've had them in tea. I've had them in smoothies. I've had them in chocolate. Yeah. And you can do whatever you would with other mushrooms. You can just eat them raw. Some people just prefer them that way. I've had it with peanut butter. Like I was about to say, the first time I seen it was a peanut butter sandwich from Nick Spivey. 
Yeah. So mm. like when you eat them by themselves, that is a journey. That's nasty. Yeah. 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 They're not, they don't taste great, but it is medicine. So you, you can consider yeah, that medicine doesn't medicine. taste great. You need yeah. that spoonful of sugar. Unless yeah. it's Robitussin. <laughs> I still have like PTSD with that taste. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> like grape. Yeah, can, it, it, it fucks it. me up. You're like, I like it, but I don't. Yeah. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I can, I can honestly say, I can, I can imagine that taste in my mouth. Well, right because as soon as like, I yeah. say it, yeah, makes like your uh, back of your tongue go a little funny. Yeah, you know? <laughs> well, yeah I don't I, need that. But, like licorice. Do you like? Do you like? Licorice? I hate licorice. No, black licorice. No. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's I get regular red trash. I don't understand why that's a flavor. I don't. Either. I will never go choose it. It's like somebody has it. I'm like, eh, hey, what's it like? Yeah, not great. It's still not great. <laughs> so I give you downtown of the General Mass store and they have the whole licorice aisle or whatever. You walk over there, you're like, you see the black one. You're like, no. <laughs> Ew. Racist. That's racist. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> cheer wine or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's not a Pepsi Cola machine. That's an RC Cola machine. RC Colas. Up north, they got the CNCs. They don't even have RCs. It's CNC still. Um, RC Cola, Cheerwine, I think they all come from the same Cousins. place. Mm-hmm. So as far as experiences uh, on shrooms, uh, what is what would you say or it was your lowest uh, shroom experience? Like the, the, the shroom mm. experience that made you... <laughs> I can share it. That, that do we want to share this because now i'm gonna probably visualize it and be like this is happening to me no. 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 So like, no. i'm li- living the evil dead book i'm gone no. this yeah. is it i'm feeling it no. um i accidentally tripped mm. um you I, accidentally tripped like over something that's not what no, you mean no nope. no on psilocybin um i was trying to eyeball the dosage and that's that you don't ever eyeball the dosage always use oh, a scale yeah. don't ever eyeball the dosage yeah and I was like, oh, this is fine. And there's different strains, just like there's different strains of weed. And mm. this particular one was penis envy, which is a little more potent than the other Whoa. ones. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Penis envy. Will Did we have you. some penis today? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just need to know. <laughs> just, need to know. <laughs> just need to know what happened today. No. Okay, cool. That's why cool. I was the last to walk in the building. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Last I checked, let, let you guys let you today. guys do whatever it is yeah, you cool. do. And then, the uh, somebody was envious. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I called my friend who happens to live down the street. Thank God. And I was like, "Hi, um, I thought I microdosed and I didn't." Mm. Um, I was like pacing in my living room. I was like, "Let me play some like chakra healing music to ground me." I was playing the music, but I couldn't stay still. So I was like standing up and pacing and then laying back down. And I was like, I just need to stay still and listen to this. And it was a vicious cycle. So oh, I yeah. called her and I was like, please pick me up. <laughs> oh my God. Weed and gives me that effect sometimes. So I will say shrooms, like when people say, oh, I, I don't fuck with weed because of that, mm-hmm. people fuck with shrooms. They're like, no, mm-hmm. this is different. Yeah. Okay. It's different. Good. I had a bad experience on shrooms when I was much, much younger. And I've so if you allegedly did them today, yeah, um, then this would be the first time that you've done them, yes, allegedly. ever in life, yeah, and, and since he was delivering pizzas, since you were delivering pizzas, I was managing a pizza store. Oh, uh, you he was the manager, that's how old he is, guys. So, we just delivered a pizza. I feel, have I told the story on the air before? It's been forever, though, okay, once. so it doesn't matter. When you was at Pizza Planet, People yeah, I don't remember Pizza Planet. You picked up, you saw these two toys playing place. in the bed of his truck. I worked it is at a, a pig store, I have, <laughs> they use it all the time. So, I, I worked, <laughs> I worked at a place called Athens Pizza Express on Claremont Road in Decatur, mm. uh, just outside Atlanta. And it had to be dangerous delivering pizzas in Atlanta, right. In Decatur? No, in, uh, uh. well, Decatur. I, I didn't. I didn't mind. I didn't mind delivering pizzas in Decatur. You never got robbed as a pizza person. Like, I feel like every pre- pizza person has only been robbed. No, I, I can honestly once. say I've never. I, uh, the years that I delivered pizza, I, I never got robbed. Mm. Uh, nobody ever. I, I was always a bigger guy. Let them continue the story. Oh yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So uh, so I was I I. I I had had a car accident uh, a while before and did not have a vehicle that made much money because of the cost of gas uh, delivering pizzas. So, uh, and they felt, and the, and the guy that owned it, the store felt like it was, uh, I was a good fit for management. So he had me as the night closer at the store. Because you looked older. I uh, I may have aged. I may have looked older. You've always had aged. that beard, right? Uh, no, no. I didn't start growing a beard until after my first divorce, I don't think. Oh, okay. Stress. Or uh, whatever. Helps. You know. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, so one night uh, after my 
last driver came back from delivering the uh, the the deposit to the, the to the bank. Um, he came back in. Uh, we finished cleaning up the store, and he he asked me if uh, if I had ever tried shrooms, and I was like, No, I never tried it. So, and it was literally like the the stem of the mushroom, mm -hmm. and uh, and so he ate he ate his piece, and I ate mine, and uh, about forty five minutes, uh, we were still cleaning and whatnot. Forty five minutes, I don't remember anything that happened after that point until. Mm. Uh, the next, the next morning where, uh, somebody was banging on the door of the, uh, of uh, the guy and I low, we, we found ourselves or we woke up. Hold on now. Tied up. I say this story is taking a turn. Was woke Peterson up. be involved in this? Facts. I'm thinking it. He was I'm a thinking guy. it. Uh, <laughs> no, no. So, so he could take well, it. Well, is what you're saying? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, uh, I'll pop your dough. Oh, he was statue. They woke up. <laughs> Y'all woke up with no shirt on, right? Had to. So we were some we, white boy stuff. So we woke up to banging <laughs> of somebody trying to get back into the office, uh, or trying to get into the office, and we were both tied uh, uh, into chairs. So apparently, we did the shrooms, and then either we let somebody into the building, or somebody was able to gain their way into the building, or load it and lock the door. I, I can definitely see this playing out. He looks yeah. like a cool guy. Let him in. Yeah, but I don't think like the, how did he's got a gun. Black you out is what I don't know. Confusing to me. I don't know. Uh, I I I truly don't know. I was uh, definitely had to be some penis envy. <laughs> I he said it, that's but that's the story I've heard you tell at least yeah. like three times. Like. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what happened. They, I, I know that they did not, wild. they didn't steal anything because the the night deposit had already been sent, taken to the bank, and uh, but that was that was my one and only experience. And, and I and I don't know that I blacked out. I just know that I don't remember going home. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> didn't go I didn't go home. exactly. He doesn't remember that. He doesn't remember getting tied up. Yeah. No, I don't remember it's anybody wild. coming to the store. I don't remember. Getting did you say that's home. Did you say that's <laughs> hot. I said that's wild. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's hot. <laughs> no. I was like, was it hot? I like <laughs> pulling, pulling from Paris. I'll try it again later. <laughs> but, but I've, but I've, I've done, uh, what's the, uh, what's the, the salvia. The, salvia. Yeah. So I've done salvia before. And what, what some people describe as their experience on shrooms that was my experience on salvia. Yeah. When Joe mm. Rogan says that salvia is the most intense like hallucination he's ever had, you're like, well, fuck. Like, I don't want that. Mm. I don't it want was, it. No. It was never I don't want that. But it was for me it was never a bad experience and I don't know if that's just because I You you're in another place. My mentality. Yeah, like I've I've told the story of what happened with Eon Salvia one time was like I went into this trance and I was in a jungle and literally like me and 15 other people are tramp trampsing through the jungle. I've got a machete and I'm cutting down limbs and whatnot. Mm. We open it up and and we come out into this like So they like had you in the front of the line. Yeah. But like, so, and we open up into this really pretty river and then I came out of it. Oh man. And I felt like I was gone. I like, I felt like my trip lasted yeah. days. Right. Mm. It was like three minutes. It was like two or three minutes. <laughs> yeah. And when we came out, I was, I was apologizing to everybody. I was like, I am so sorry that took so long. Cause we were going to go one by <laughs> one. Gone for eight. <laughs> we were going to go one by one so that everybody would feel safe and you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And then my buddy Ben had a trip on it and he comes out of it and he's like, I, I thought that I was a sunflower in a pot on a, on a shelf. And there was a kid coming down the line, knocking all of the, all of the, the potted plants off of the shelf. And, and then trauma. Yeah. And, and like when he woke up, he was, you know, we watched him, but he, 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 he woke up and he was like, I thought I was going to die. Like the kid, I thought if the kid knocked my pot over, I was going to die. It was it's salvia completely legal. Like, yeah, and the weirdest part is like when I did mine, I was on a school bus. I was flying through the air, bluest skies you ever seen. <laughs> I thought you was actually on a school bus. Yeah, same. Well, I was like, like, you God, took the drug yeah. on a school no, bus. I was, I was like, what apartment. kind of life you I was in my apartment Shaping. at the time. Made sense. No, but then Gumby was riding on my shoulders, and I'm like, Damn. you gotta get off the bus. Like, <laughs> well, that's a good. That's a good well, question. Oh yeah, keep well, going. Ari Shafir, the stand-up comedian, he did it in in for ten minutes. For everybody else, he thought he had a whole family and shit for thirty years. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, yeah, like, that's why you don't trust is... strangers, man. They're like, this is like, it's it's legal. You're like, all right, like. Well, that's a lot of drugs are legal that are terrible for you. Yeah, and correct. that's like that. That's the what's the mind fuck is like. Yeah. How is this legal? Side effects may include 
alcohol for one. Vomiting, diarrhea, screaming, scrumming. But that's a good uh, um, stroke. Good question. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, how do you say who just uh, holistic? Yeah. What? No. What? <sighs> <laughs> what are words right now? <laughs> what are words? People. What are people? The type of Please. drugs that Sorry. people shouldn't take t- if they're in a bad state of mind. Should I say alcohol? Yeah, alcohol. I mean, other than alcohol, yeah, that's, like hallucinants. That's, that's what I was trying to say. Hallu- I what mean, other hallucinants? I know some people say that you shouldn't take shrooms when you're in a in a bad state, but also, like I, you know, I could counter that because mm. perhaps, like, why are you in that state? Like, what do you need to face mm. that you're Maury putting said off? That's a lie. So that's just a lie. Okay. Has anybody done ask it? No, I, that's yeah. not on my to do list. No, no, no. I had <laughs> that's I had, not on my to do list. I was given it one time, and I was like, I've seen it at thousands of parties, and it's away. like little pieces of paper like mm-hmm. cut up, and I'm like, y'all really putting that They're on your tiny tongue? Little tabs or whatever. Yeah. Like, is it dangerous? Is, man. Is, so uh, just because I don't know. Yeah. Like so, when you say like a tiny piece of paper, it's, it's, it's like cut up. Acid, like a little. Do they do they drop something mm-hmm. on the yeah paper? on the paper? It's like a whole paper. And it'll have like a picture on it of something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like maybe a smiley face or a little skull. Because I saw Bad Boys Three. Yeah. And well, that was no, bad actually boys ecstasy. ecstasy. That was That's ecstasy. What it was. Bad Boys so, 2. Ecstasy is, is one that I also have not done. Anybody ecstasy? Else? But, I've done, yeah. I've done and, Molly, and, so yeah. I guess that's No, ecstasy. I've done Molly. I've done it it's once. the like pure version of it. Okay. But they've that's, been doing... That's something else, too. Like, what, Molly? But they've well, been Molly's doing MDMA therapy lately. That's a thing. Mm. Tell me what MDMA, MDMA therapy is. Plants have MDMA in it and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's le- like legalized Molly to... Take for therapy because if yeah. you think about it, you know, even if you've not done Molly, when you see it in movies, everybody's touching each other yeah. and more touchy feely, right? So imagine like you've experienced lots of trauma and you don't want people touching you, and then you're doing MDMA therapy to allow touch. Someone to touch you, yeah. yeah. That mm-hmm. makes fucking sense too. Because a buddy of mine, so he, a buddy of mine would talk about doing ecstasy and then just like sitting on the beach at night and let the water like roll over his toes and that mm. that's. That still seems dangerous. <laughs> Why? Yeah, because the the, 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 the the water's gonna come up. Oh, you're, yeah, <laughs> so and you're gonna that's another up. reason why it's dangerous. Yeah, like, then you'll fuck around and like, be like, I did not mean to swim to Yeah, yeah, like, you're in the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> I, 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 like, the waves it feel so good. So good. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. These no, waves are hitting my toes a little different. You're, like, you're just out there in the middle of nowhere. You're just like, <laughs> but I think look like the Little Mermaid. Yeah, shrooms on the ocean would be similar, though. I would think. And I remember somebody saying like, going swimming felt like being back in the womb, and I was like, that makes sense. You could, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we are. It's, it's water in there, right? In the room, right? <laughs> there's there's lots of liquid. Well, they yeah. call it's it amniotic liquid. fluid, but yes. <laughs> yeah. there's, it's there. We have a little H2O in there. I mean, dude, like we're made up of what, 90% yeah, water? Yeah, that's whatever. what I'm saying. It's got to be some H2O. It's for sure in there. It's for sure in there. But like it's a state of mind. That it, in most stories, it's it's people who go like, you, you, what is your worst story? Mm. A lot of people don't have them. Like, 99% of the time, it's like, what what's the, like, dude, you're just having a good time. Mm-hmm. Correct. Or they're like, I had this trip, but like, would you do it again? They're like, yeah. But like, how many times do people black out drinking? Correct. And oh, then they're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do, do it again. again. And or the next up. day. Yeah. Like, no one on shrooms is going out to hurt anybody. At all. Drunk people call you trying to hurt your feelings. That's like people yeah. that smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. Like all these active shooters, they've never smoked weed. There's no way. Well, some of them you be like, smoke Man, weed, but they're not shrooming. I don't know. They're like, it nothing works. You don't hear that shit, but like, hold on. Man, you that's too much money for bullets, you man. You don't, you don't think Kyle, you don't think before before the shooting in Missouri, Kyle, Kyle Rittenhouse? Kyle Rittenhouse would Oh, no. Kyle, because I can see in Kyle's eyes, he's got one of those people's. When he was he's got those. No, not even that. He has the eyes that are super wide, so you know if he's on something. He's, he's gonna, like, but that's he's got that bitch. Like, it's, you like, you couldn't hide anything with, you don't with think Kyle. You don't think there's any scenario where he was the lonely kid that would just sit No, he just seemed like the kid that always wanted to be the hero and that's what he wanted uh, to go it's do it's all a part of the liberal, liberal agenda i'm not yeah. smoking weed but we can't talk shit about cop because he won his case so i guess we don't want to get sued he didn't right? win his case he was just not found guilty that's, that's winning not, the that's case that's how r kelly got off is, i mean i mean we, r kelly's doing prison time right at first <laughs> he got off at first and then came look, back look with different women i don't know just get off one time ju- just be going back look just because you're found innocent doesn't mean you didn't do it oj i mean oj come on now yeah, I mean, there's a list. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say Bill Cosby. I mean, I can. He got off for it. He yeah. was found guilty, but he, was, he, he, got, he got off for it because 
time constraints. Because nobody told him to eat the pudding, right? <laughs> I'm so goddamn old. You can't keep me in this. <laughs> he was prison. lacing the pudding. What do you? Uh, well, they're gonna turn me into a push pop. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. Go. So since we asked all these other questions, like, anybody did crack? No crack. No. Oh my Please. god. Yeah, just had to throw it out there. Just had to make sure. Just had to throw it out you there. You guys like meth? <laughs> Just had to make, see how to see <laughs> heroin. Let's see where our audience is. Heroin, you know what I mean? anyone? Heroin? No. Okay. No judging here. Just wondering. I mean, hey, audience. Crack doesn't really have like a. Any of y'all got some like a cocaine, difference? You know what cocaine, I mean? cocaine, cocaine. I, I've cocaine. never done cocaine. No. 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 no? Nope. Never done cocaine. Been around it a lot. Shiana's like, huh? <laughs> Shiana didn't say anything about the coke, you know. I did a bump on my twenty fifth birthday. Okay. That was it. It was like on the to do list, like. This is on the to-do list. Mm. That was, was like a week ago, wasn't it? Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. see what you did there, Thank man. You. You're trying to throw that shot. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Not quite. Um, but then I, my alcohol tolerance was through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I see why people do this. Correct. You can drink oh. all night. But, but again, someone who does cocaine, unless they're breaking into cars to get more of it, they're like, great time. Yeah, but also <laughs> like that's not going to show. But nobody's up on the drug breaking into cars to get cocaine though. Within within a certain amount yeah, it's of like hours. It's like three days. It's like three yeah, days. Like, You're good. But cocaine. THC yeah. is what two weeks or whatever. Mm, no. Like a month cocaine. or a month. Yeah, if they take a hair sample. Cocaine it's like six months. <laughs> Cocaine's out of your system in a couple of days. Yeah, three yeah, days. Three days. Like, wow. Why do you think so many? You know the 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 big money people. Yeah, like, that's the what they hit. In the office, they're all. Oh, we got drug tests coming. They're not all doing coke, but a lot of them are. It's not my. It, I, you guys been I on Jesus before? <laughs> <laughs> that seems to last Fuck for, you up. <laughs> <laughs> for years. For years. You ever been to that Baptist church? <laughs> they dunk you in that water, boy. <laughs> he holds oh. you. He told you under until the bubble stops. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so funny because my girl just asked that question to my mom because she, she was thinking about getting real baptized and she knows real baptized. Case. Well, real. My son, real. I thought she said real. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but the Catholic son, baptism, not no, the baptism. But we were thinking about getting my son baptized, and she just wanted to know because Rio can't swim. So she was like, is he going to be, like, submerged? And my mom was like, no, we just drove a little ahead. She said, oh, okay, cool, cool. Dude, not where I went. They were like, oh, oh yeah, they definitely put you under the water in some churches. Oh, know? no, yeah, yeah. that's probably trauma in itself. Yeah, they're like, stay here for a little bit, 10 seconds. Okay, I, good. I've been baptized twice. Okay, bro. I've got I've got a great idea for a YouTube channel. To get baptized? Failed baptisms. Yeah. We're like, well, that's we can have well, that's pastor, everybody we the interviewed. Pastor, the pastor's holding <laughs> anybody we've interviewed is a failed baptism. <laughs> you, see, you, see, you see, the kids are trying to pull themselves well, up, grabbing the damn. <laughs> like, and the pastor's the just like, going, let the Holy Spirit in. In. <laughs> That's traumatizing. Why would you want to bring that back Dude, up? <laughs> I saw, I saw we just Russian. lost all the evangelicals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a there is a like a Russian. They'll be back. <laughs> there's like a, a Russian week. Orthodox Church over, over there. I can't remember the name of their church they have. It's Catholic essentially. But there's this. I think you've seen the video. It's like Rasputin there with the beard yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dunking this. Oh yeah, like, upside yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, flipping them. I seen bra, that. Bra, bra. Like it's just like what did this? And the, dad, the parents are over there like. It's cool. All right. All right. I, I, I would have been in there like, hey, no. What are we doing? <laughs> Look, this is enough. We got to get out of here. Like, dude, no. No. I'm what thinking you, about going to church on Saturdays now. What was your baptism? I was, ca- I was Catholic. So oh, once so when I was an the, infant and then you had the sprinkle. as a Baptist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. They might have dumped my head in it. I don't no, know. No, mine was a sprinkle. Even as an adult. Yeah, my thing is, it's like they don't have like a solid body, body of water. Like back in the day, they used to like do it in random rivers and stuff like they that. They did it in the lake, dude. Yeah, like why would I want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I never had any of these experiences, mm. clearly. You, you're you lucky. Wanna? It's just no, called I'm good. drowning. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> drowning and then finding the Lord. It's and then church, it's church <laughs> sanctioned <laughs> drowning, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. yeah. You wear all white, so you know you feel pure. If you right. die when you're doing it, you know who you're going. <laughs> right. I'm good. I think I'm good. I think but I'm good know, on that. Peter's you know like, it's actually, true, man. You, you know it's true. You wear all white to feel pure <laughs> you after need, you get out the water. You know you needed a minute, right? You lasted. It's like the first wet t shirt contest was was baptism. <laughs> like, oh, brother, where art thou? Yeah. You turn me into a pro. The disciples uh, are all standing on the side of the river going, all right, here comes a big one. Oh, yeah, facts. They on there with the binoculars. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, if, I, if I was going fishing and someone someone was, like, baptizing on the other side, I'd be like, you're scaring them away. Like, they're gone. Yeah. You know what? I think on that, let, let's take a break. We'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll repent for our sins. Correct. All right, this is the All About Nothing podcast. 
Hey, Nuffingers. The Fireflies have stumbled out of the gates this week in Kinston as they've dropped their first four games to the Down East Wood Ducks. The team has struggled at the plate, hitting just 148 in their first four games and even having a 24-inning scoreless stretch that they snapped during Wednesday night's contest. Despite the offensive struggles, the team's dominant pitching staff has been good enough to keep them in games this week. It's been another strong week for the Stars as Steve Zoback went four scoreless frames, Ben Kurna allowed a pair of earned runs in five innings, and Shane Panzini offered four scoreless last night. The week was also business as usual for Frank Mazzucato, who tallied his second 10-punch-out game of his career, allowing a single earned run in five innings, topping it off with this strikeout. 1-2 offering. Curveball called strike three. Mazzucato punches out 10 through five innings, and he strands Camp Coley in scoring position once again. Columbia will try to right the ship this weekend as they are still in first place in the division with 17 games remaining in the first half. From Kinston, North Carolina, I'm John Kosas. Hey, this is Bex on Not Quite a Wallflower on Instagram and TikTok saying hi I to you for Scotland. And you're listening to Barrett, Zach, and Trent on the All About Nothing podcast. All right, welcome back to the All About Nothing podcast. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Shiana is with us from uh, Who You Calling Holistic? Who You Calling Holistic? Who You Calling Holistic? I, I did it. Who I thought you I did it Calling good Holistic? You did, but mm-hmm. I do it better. That's a fact. Uh, okay. That is a fact. Yeah. Uh, but because we're having this crossover sitch, mm. I was like, you know, I need, I need to take over a little bit so you guys can... Yeah. Join my world. Yeah, we want to, yeah. But some of you. I didn't want Bear to, like, like get me in my sad mood talking about <laughs> the wrong stuff. It feels so <laughs> sad. It I makes like, you sad. Fuck. Well, some topics get sad, man, you know? It's been some mass shootings lately. It's not on my show. Yeah. Oh, see, news things. Yeah, news I, things, you know what I mean? I want Trent to do better. <laughs> <laughs> he's like I don't know where I was going with this but he's like you know what they say once on Thursday twice on Friday right shut the fuck up what are you saying <laughs> alright proceed proceed but every dog was born during the day <laughs> guys. that's the first part shit alright don't bring the first part shit in. <laughs> okay. so Shiana uh, I don't know how you're gonna wrangle these these other two I'll do, I'm, I'm oh, oh, I'll do my best. I'm paying attention. I'll do my best. However, I've been told I could lead a cult, so I think this should be easy. Mm. Oh. Um, but yeah, you guys are in my in my world, and I know we even discussed being like uncomfortable on camera a little bit. It's Correct. a thing. And I was telling Neek um, when I came in here to record another time, like I got on camera and I was like, ah, yeah. Mm. Like, and then I was like, what What is wrong with you? Like, what are these expectations? What are these like thoughts that you're having? You know, you're in a safe body. You're like look good you you're healthy like mm. i had to remind myself of these little things that we forget about mm-hmm. three out of the four of us look good <laughs> <laughs> correct i look good and we're all healthy like we're doing our best if anything we're yeah. all doing our best so um and i think whenever i tell people like doing shrooms and stuff it helps me love myself more mm. Like we have, we all have these flaws we're all flawed beings but it's part of the human experience and it's like eh okay correct yeah okay all your imperfections you feel someone else is feeling the same way exactly and we're all just mirrors of each other so Mm, for sure um but i have an icebreaker for you all before we get all the way started with the fun okay i mean we've already gotten started with the fun let's be honest um i'll start with you barrett who i always say has radio voice thanks so because you guys haven't been on my show before i have i've been on your show a couple times now correct but this is the first the all about yeah, yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> i mean i got open invites all the time so you know yes and like before we get into the icebreaker obviously but you guys talk about i know when we were discussing content i was like Ugh, i don't want to talk about politics like yeah. that because i'm i'm the rebel i'm the fuck the patriarchy person mm-hmm. and i know you guys have like a splash of that but mine is like it's a bigger the, splash than that than usual yeah yeah mine's the way other end of that <laughs> way other end um, but Barrett, if you could have a personal holistic guru who happens to be a celebrity, who would it be and why? Oh, goodness. Um, I think uh, a personal holistic guru. Chris Robinson. Oh. You can't give him it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> well, so, uh. so I guess I, 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 I can it. Can it be someone that I think would potentially make a good holistic guru? I think that's the question, right? Yeah. Okay, so your own personal, oh. goal, yeah, own you, personal. Yeah, they don't even have to be a real that has person. To be a but celebrity. You just think they are. I. Th- He's a Halle Berry. Like no, Matthew McConaughey, he doesn't wear deodorant. You know? Dan- He's great. 
I'm gonna say he probably Danny, eats well. I'm gonna say Danny DeVito. Oh, I think Danny DeVito yeah. would be Danny a, DeVito. What unique Bandit. wisdom do you think he would share? Well, uh, well, Danny Danny DeVito seems like the type that's just he's. So I, I've seen you, you see him as an actor, and and he's very funny, and he's very quick, uh, but. Uh, but I've seen him in interviews. I've seen him in his daughter because his daughter is actor to actress actor, um, and he's he he and Rhea Perlman. I don't know. I just I just I think that he'd be very comforting uh, if necessary. But I think I think I'd feel like I was being entertained. I guess maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you got to get off the drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito, I think would be would be fun. I, I want to claim Danny DeVito. Okay. He would definitely bring a rum ham. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. What about you, Zach? Oh, if I'm picking one, it would it would be somebody that I already think uh, is in that realm a little bit. Seth Rogen. Mm, I don't think he's all the way in that realm though. He's oh. just doing his own thing. Oh, dude, I read his book. Okay. Oh, okay, <laughs> my bad. He's all about mushrooms, all that stuff. It's just like if someone's gonna be the guru, he'd be like, "Yes, I just sit down and let's have fun." <laughs> like, <laughs> Could you imagine the two of them in a room together? Just oh my god, Zach doing an impression. Of he's Seth like, "Can I leave now?" He's really weird. <laughs> Seth, come this back. is getting weird. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> he practices a lot. In the mirror? No. Okay. Just driving the car, like, fucker, cut me off. <laughs> what do you think he'll tell you, though? What do you think Seth will tell you? Uh, I think he would. I think he would bring the naturally funny out of me, chilling out, just being naturally funny. Oh, so you think it's in there already? Yeah. It's just not out of you. I think I think too much, too mm. too cerebral sometimes. Mm. Mm-hmm. So just let let the let the intelligence fall by the wayside when it's appropriate, and let loose and be naturally a lot of things, but funny. Mm-hmm. Before Trent says his, I want to preface, Trent. Uh, you want someone that's going to make you feel safe. So if you say somebody like R. Kelly, I feel like <laughs> that's not safe. It does bring R. You don't know what R. Kelly I'm brings glad, to the table. I'm glad right? there was a disclaimer. Well, we, well, I think we all know. On, I think we all know. <laughs> I think we all know what he brings to but, the table. But, but all seriousness, it'll be Russell Simmons. Mm. That's fair. So if you don't know who Russell Simmons is. He technically has a case too. Who is Russell Simmons? <laughs> Russell Simmons, uh, he was one of the um, the founding fathers of, I think, Fat Farm, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Or FUBU. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I know who Russell Simmons is. Though. And uh, he also... Um, he had some help in with Run DMC, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. back in the day. So I think he's kind of like on his, like I just seen him like for some reason, uh, yoga guy was like had him like turned upside down and he was like upside down and he was. And like, that's goals for you. I mean, I feel like he's like super limber, stepping feel, out of his comfort stepping zone. out of his comfort yeah. zone, and I feel like that's what he would teach me to step step out of my comfort and zone. And he would help you rock a dope ass tracksuit. Trent, I feel Correct. like I warned you before you said your answer. <laughs> I mean, look, man, Russell Simmons. He wants to be flipped over. Yeah, is what he, said. Yeah. he can flip you over. Well, not really that, Someone but I'm just saying, like, buddy. to to be out my element. I just feel like. For so long, I've probably been boxed up that I feel like somebody like Russell Simmons might help me out with that. A guy that I used to work with uh, had wanted to go on a camping trip and do shrooms, and he, he always talked about it. But he always said that he wanted he he wanted to make sure that he was my guide through what does that entail because we never did it because he turned out really odd. Trip sitting. That's what um, I do trip sitting, and it's basically providing a safe space. <clears throat> for the client or the person that's having this experience. Um, sometimes it's like just talking to them through the emotions that they're experiencing, or maybe it's a flashback of trauma, but sometimes it's good things. Sometimes yeah. they just have extreme laughter and you're just there laughing with them. Um, and those, cause the thing with like macro dosing is there's like all of the emotions are felt. Okay. And versus like taking, you know, some of these antidepressants, I think they just numb the emotions or they push them to the side and alcohol does the same thing. It just kind of numbs it or puts it under the rug a little bit, Correct. but uh, mushrooms make you feel all of them and like make it feel okay to feel all of them. Well, mm-hmm. and alcohol, like it'll harness things like anger if you're angry or the worst ones you can feel like anger or depression, it'll mm-hmm. it'll bring those out, and you'll get people who will get on it and just become sad, bitter, mm-hmm. and lash out. But it's like usually that. lonely drunks, though. That's true. You get people on alcohol who are having a good time, but I think even like people who chronically drink still are trying to hide something, and they Absolutely. just kind of numb that one thing. 
Well, in Chinese medicine, a lot of times alcohol is associated with the liver mm-hmm. and that, that houses the anger, that houses mm. the, the rage. Even like people getting red in the face, that's that anger, that's mm. that upset liver. Damn. And alcohol just, you know, keeps adding to that. And I think, you know, when we think about what's legal and what's not, alcohol is legal and encouraged and celebratory and all of this stuff. Correct. And it encourages anger. And that's all dogma, mm. if you think about it. It's just dogmatic. That's the way it's been. We tried mm-hmm. taking it away one time. People really liked it, got mad about it. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. Well, the new stuff? No, no, we don't want new stuff. Don't, right. Don't do that. Don't bring in the shrooms. Yeah, we don't want don't bring, no weed. No, no, no. Not addictive. Well, matter not. of fact, we'll make it so hard to test it to even tell us if it's bad for you or mm. not. So. But could you imagine if, because, you know, I don't do politics like that on my show, but could you imagine if politicians macro dosed? Mm. You don't think that they're, that we have politicians that aren't? Oh, oh, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. they're doing. Uh, the, I feel like they're doing the other things. But I imagine mean, if they definitely macro- a lot of cocaine. <laughs> who is absolutely? Yeah, right. a bear has a clip. A bear had a clip, but there was a guy who was Texas. It was, it was a Texas Texas the speaker in the house, straight drunk, and yeah. he's up there. He's like, and he's working. Oh, 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 oh getting yeah. paid by our tax dollars. See, yeah. like. Like the dude is just sloshed, and he's up there, and you're going like, "Is he having a stroke?" Oh no, he's hammered. But everybody thought Joe Cunningham was cool for drinking on the he house. He brought floor. a beer. He drank one. Well, they kicked him out. Correct. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, like I, just ridiculous. That's anarchy, though. Come on now, <laughs> rebel, be it. Duty. He should have lit a blunt. That. If he would have lit a blunt, it would have been different. Like, what is yeah, this? Yeah, like what's his name in um, New Orleans? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't remember his name. That. I wouldn't have known what it was. Someone kill a skunk on the way here? Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they know what it is. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely know, what it know, is. know what it is. But cocaine doesn't have a smell. Nope. <laughs> Just a little white residue. We got something here, sir. <laughs> That's why they say keep your nose clean. Remember that saying? That was some snuff. What? Snuff. <laughs> what snuff? What snuff? It's tobacco that you was snuff. Oh. What? I thought people they used just to chewed snort? it. Yeah, what? People still do this, y'all. Yeah. Huh. They shove it in their nose? Snuff. Yeah. Shove tobacco up their nose? It's like a grainy, like, it's no. like a grainy <laughs> kind of tobacco that's been drying out. Yeah, and they go... <laughs> Dude, you watch the... For instance, watch a Civil War movie. You'll see like an old white dude. Be like, so well, you all said the, a Civil War movie, but then you said they still do it. Yeah, they like which one? Is, you can buy, I haven't it was seen a, it in a movie now. No, it's a specific movie. It was a Civil War. Oh. Mo- it was a it was a movie about Civil War reenactment. Are these like right hillbillies now? that's doing it? Like still doing to this uh, day? I, I've known for a fact somebody had a grandmother who did it. Mm. It's just old. It's old school, but people still do it. You can buy snuff. I feel like Google. my nostril or like the inside yeah, of my like, nose what? is probably one of the most sensitive. Like tobacco places. up my nose, dude. Like uh, apparently, it like hits your sinuses and it goes right to your head. And, like I can see. Well, I mean, I guess so. It's like smoking like ten cigarettes all at once. Yeah. Like, oh, Except for a cigarette it stays there till you like blow your nose out. Oh god. What? Yeah. This uh, imagine like dipping it. a dip, but in your sinus. Uh, I don't yeah, want this, that experience at yeah, all. This, this, this could. This, like this definitely didn't hit the black. Black side of things. You know, black. I know. Hell when, he, no. when he was saying it, I was like over here now, to bear yeah, elbows. I know black people. people that dip like, now. Mm-hmm. Dipping. I know black people that dip, but hell no, not that. So you believe that a black guy had that rebel flag on his car before he would do some snuff? <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. He probably we wouldn't, but, but like, I've seen him dip. Fuck? I've seen him dip. <laughs> Definitely seen him dip. I'm telling you, it's real. Yeah, like old people. Yeah, we had a black guy that had a rebel flag on his top of his truck. You had him on as a guest? No, he was oh. like, we went to school with him. Got it. Yeah. Not my show. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, heritage, not hate. Like, Come it's on, not Barrett. even good for heritage. It's COE, Barrett. Content over everything. We got to have everybody on here. <laughs> Come on now. We got to get them numbers up. <laughs> I would I would honor that. <laughs> <laughs> when me and um, Barrett were talking about content stuff, I was like, you know what? Let me just throw some stuff in chat GPT real quick mm. to see like what. And it's kind of limited because... Currently, it only goes to like 2021. Yeah. Mm. So I was like, you know, let me know what we could talk about or something. Yeah. And it blended some of our conversations. But then I was like, I use chat GPT for the icebreaker, though. So like it, I still used it. Have well, y'all been using AI stuff yet? Not they all, yet. They all, they all sound like like seventh graders thesis statements at some point. Like they're well <laughs> thought out. Sometimes there's a gym in there. But for most of it, it's just kind of run of the mill that like it thought of it because you didn't put the thinking behind it. Mm-hmm. I've actually but re- you can you can tweak them. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've actually recently, words. I've actually recently started using uh, ChatGPT for responses to text messages that I don't. Want. I don't want to have conversations. <laughs> mm. So like somebody will send me a message, and I'm like, 
Oh, let me see if ChatGBT will respond to this. But what happens if they it, if if there's a like money involved and you like miss out? No, no, no. I'm not. No, it's. I, I, like, I'm, I'm literally copying. I'm copying whatever that text message is. How can I reply text to this? Oh, nicer. Okay, I this text okay, I see what you're saying. And then and then I copy that response into the the iMessage and then and that's what yeah. I your said. your responses to me have gotten nicer over the week. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. It makes oh, a lot of sense. A lot less racism. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not a lot of counting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today I, I, I text Barrett and I said, I think I got an opening skit for the show. And he's like, that sounds great. I really value your input. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great part of the show. Oh, <laughs> if, it sounds like I'm glowing, if it sounds like I'm glowing, it came from ChatGBT. <laughs> no, I, I put it in there before and it was like, um, give me a rundown of alcohol deaths versus... Uh, mushrooms and mm. psilocybin. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, and add wit and humor to the delivery. Oh. And it was like, I'll tell you what happened. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. The drunks this is fun. died and the psychedelics <laughs> fly. See, everybody that says that Chat GBT. Like, Have you ever noticed? Everybody that <laughs> says exactly. that Chat uh, GBT can't make um, movie scripts. Like, they're yeah. crazy. Like, no, it's, yeah. it's yeah. doing it. Yeah, you can yeah. definitely make a movie script with that. Easily. I think it's all moving so fast. Like, we don't we don't even know mm. how would, fast it's moving. It would have the a movie script would have the substance of a Michael Bay film, though. <laughs> I love Transformer movies. Trigger explosion number two. I love Transformer movies. Well, that speaks volumes. Are you going to see the new one? No. <laughs> a five. <laughs> You're not going to see the new one? When it's on TNT. They got animals turning into the, the, to the Transformers That's now. It's like keeping up with the Fast and Furious movies. I haven't done that it's either. It's 10 now. So. Yeah, I've, I've heard they're ridiculous. Yeah. It started off with just a race, and now you got planes, you guys cars taking down cars. Stealing TVs in the first <laughs> movie, <laughs> right. VCRs and shit. Right. Like, what are we? They've upgraded. How do y'all work for the United States Army? Right. You know? You're taking on global terrorism now. I was Fuck. gonna say they work for the CIA now, don't they? You, well, somebody. You ditched the civics quickly. <laughs> Forgot where you came from. You got an R34 skyline. All right, <laughs> boss. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I've I have found that Chat GPT does come in handy for for responding to. Uh, to to text messages from people because it 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 I benefit from the fact that I didn't have to put any thought into it, but it sounded like I did. Mm. So. Well, the last job I had, <laughs> if Chat GPT was around, I probably would have got a little farther. How do I, I think get about out of that with pickle? college, mm-hmm. yeah, like because you can even ask it for references. Correct. Because I had to like email like trucking companies, and I'm like, I sound dumb as fuck. Hey, sir, give me some loads. Like, <laughs> like, why were those the words you chose? Well, man, like, <laughs> clip that. <laughs> clip that. <laughs> Was you getting truck loads, man? Truck loads. No, I followed, but. Imagine if it were me leading with that yeah, conversation. I mean, you probably should have. Well, clearly. Did you say truck before that? No. I don't think you did. Hey, sir, give me some loads. Uh, load me up like a laundry machine, sir. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I guess y'all see why I didn't get the, you know, a lot of business. You know oh, was that mean? in your email? It's like, not a lot of business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or a lot of the wrong business. Oh, that, that was my header. Also, <laughs> also <laughs> give me some started started off with that. <laughs> got straight to the point. Dude, the damn spam filter got to you. He took I those can't. emails out before spam filter got to you. I, I can't believe you didn't go further in a trucking company with <laughs> questions <laughs> like that. You got loads? <laughs> Well, a lot of these loads being ran by women lately. Oh, girl, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. God damn. <sighs> COE, man. Fun. Content of everything. See, every, every, everything works. Content of everything. Trent took man. a hit on that one. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Hey, but our views are going to go up, so it's worth it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Clip it up. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> Give me your loads. Sir. I'm glad it was him saying it, though, and not me. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Honestly. Oh, whatever, man. Honestly. Look, same boat. I'm glad Trent said it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me your load, sir. I've got all the other guys' loads. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really good with other loads. <laughs> you, you want these guys to have all the fun, or you want to get in on this? Oh. Sir, clearly there's been no one else who has ever taken more of your load than Trent. So, <laughs> Wow. I'm like a freight line. <laughs> so, as you can see, for those who... Allegedly, may mm-hmm. or may not have shroomed. Why, Correct. Uh, who knows? Why they're great for community building. Correct. Well, do you find out who in this room is going to take all the loads? <laughs> Load jokes, still uh, funny. Load jokes aside. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it, it, it clearly loosens loosens you up a little bit. Yeah, man, probably should Take do this. Take all those lids. All right, we're done. <laughs> Maybe before every episode. <laughs> going to get expensive. Shiana, we'll be in, we'll be in touch. <laughs> That's going to get expensive. Uh, more those memberships, the please. <laughs> Trent's late. He's got loads. Taking them. Oh, that's enough, guys. Take okay, them calm down. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Trent, there's fucking t-shirts already printed. Yeah. As long as I get 10%. <laughs> well, I'm 10%, that. that's easy. <laughs> I fucking love 90. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it clearly, uh, uh, at least one of us feels a little bit looser. I yeah, know. At least one of us. There's I mean, one. you're not even sitting cross anymore. You feel real <laughs> loose right now. You just don't give a damn right now. You think it's me? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you, your legs were crossed before. Well, yeah, but uh, honestly, it's because I was trying to hide, you know, the rest. But of now it. you don't give a fuck. I, I have, See now I have. what she just said. You, now your self confidence in yourself. Stage one. Is, yeah. Maybe this is what you need. <laughs> Stage one. Except. You know the uh, the guy that wrote the. Um, alcohol. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, Alcoholics Anonymous. Yes. Yeah, he was a. Uh, he did um, shrooms. Yeah, shrooms. And he had a psychedelic experience. to get off. Uh, he did alcohol. His but his big one was he did acid, mm-hmm. and he was like, I fucking figured it out. Mm-hmm. Acid, not alcohol. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another breakthrough. Like <laughs> but yeah, the AA rules or laws or whatever it's called. He mm. he had a psychedelic experience and helped create those with that. Wow, he did. He did. Now people they don't to... tell you that in AA. No, they don't. They won't Why tell would you they? that. I've, I've been to a couple AA meetings that they don't tell you that. Mm. <laughs> like, have you tried shrooms lately? Yeah. They're no. like a. Uh, God. And I'm like, where did this come in? God. <laughs> see, see, see? From shrooms. Chick-fil-A got me again. You're a weak fuck. God is strong. You can't do it. He'll carry your loads like Trent. You ever met that guy? <laughs> He's carrying loads for days. <laughs> <laughs> he told us we were done. It was right there, though. <laughs> had to help out. You know what I'm saying? I had to slam dunk Sorry, it. there's a lot of load jokes you're going to have to cut I around. See, no, around. it's okay. Sorry, it's sorry. all right. Oh, leave it in, please. <laughs> whoa, 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 Speaking of inhibitions. Quit that. <laughs> speaking Quit that. Of, <laughs> leave it. You know, I am told that I help awaken people's sacral chakra energy. Mm. And everybody's talking about loads and oh, leaving it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but he walked right into that one. <laughs> whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, COE, you man. You, you just put that fastball belt man. high right down the middle of the You got to get it, man. You don't feel like you were responsible for that at all? <sighs> He's just taking loads, all right? That's all I was doing. But was that really in your email? It was, was kind of other things in okay. my email, but no, that wasn't all in the email. The takeaway is the emails weren't. Yeah, it was just short. They weren't good. That's what it was supposed to be. Chat you know GPT what I'm would have, Chat GBT would have come in handy for a uh, for for some communication to the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when the uh, w- when the spam filter stops your emails, you're oh, you're off to an off start. Yeah, I guess I should have tried to email myself, huh? You mean as far as like the spam <laughs> See filters? If I got, well, what do you, you would see me like, well, hell yeah. <laughs> You mean as far as the spam filters blocking the emails sending out? Because yeah. normally spam filters work in. But you can send. You can send. Clippy kept bothering him. Do you want? Are you, you sure know, you want to? You never emailed yourself. Do you want help with this? Yeah, yeah, no. I'm oh, just saying. Okay. I'm okay. just saying that the they, spam filter stops you instead. Of <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, it's me. <laughs> Clippy's gonna pop up. Write an email. You're gonna have to hit send three Clippy. times on this. Are one. you the sure? Yeah, you, you our original AI. Yeah, exactly. Oh lord, yeah. Damn. I see you're writing an email. You got loading there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want some help? <laughs> this email seems to be going to somebody who seems to be of a professional manner and not the type of profession you uh, you seem to be intending. Makes sense. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. So I'm here for it. Yes. Not the loads. I'm here for oh, that. I'm God. here for the assistance. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. With communication. I'm here for it. Not the loads. <laughs> not the loads. <laughs> I do want to. Uh, this is this is going back to last week's uh, concert. Okay, Trent, I need you to describe the shorts you were wearing because you're not wearing those today. Yeah, oh, they were sponsored by Breast Milk. Um, yeah. this is not an ad, but can they were goat boy shorts, and they're the best shorts ever. <laughs> they were goat boy shorts. They're black and they like feel fuzzy. They they, they looked fuzzy. Correct. Um, I've fine. seen you wear them before. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're locally made here in Colombia. And, oh, are they? Yeah. Well, and now in my head, I'm fixating on what that would feel like. Shout out to two turn. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fifteen dollars. No, Barrett was talking about well, he wants some. Oh, you want some? I'm I'm considering it. Okay. 
Let's see if they we can get you right. Okay. If they're not called the pans or something, then like, what are you it's, called? It's just got breast milk over it, feeding the culture. Yeah, but I'm talking the line of shorts should be called the pans because you like pan the half goat guy from Greek mythology. Oh. Mm. Danny DeVito and Hercules. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Play, playing the little the flute. I've never right. seen I still need to see it. Well, Hercules? Yeah. Best Disney movie of all time. That Everybody says that about it. That's where everybody movie. got the what are those from. Oh. It came from that. Hmm. Today, years old. Mm-hmm. What are That movie. Those? What are those? We need a hero. Because he had the Hercules um, <laughs> sandals. <laughs> he, had, he, had the, he had the pumps. Yeah. The pumps. Like, what the fuck? Where'd you get those from? <laughs> what are those? My kids went to see uh, The Little Mermaid today. How was that? Uh, they said it was really good. Mm-hmm. Lin Manuel kills it with the with the lyrics again. Mm. Like I just thought the CGI looks shitty. I don't care who you're casting in it. I was like, I can't, I can't buy the person swimming underwater. Like cartoon, fake enough. I'm like, oh, did, you, did you see the new Avatar? Yeah, it's all in the water. Well, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of it underwater. It lo- at least it looked real. I don't know. I mean. Not a big mermaid fan. I just every time. I mean, I, I guess the mermaid. Avatar didn't have like singing animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you get past that? <laughs> this isn't real enough. Why are the animals not singing? People underwater, fine. Yeah, they had to hold their breath. They weren't breathing. Correct. You're right. So, so in the little, because I haven't seen it in the little. Mermaid, I haven't seen it. They. I, I assume. How, I, I have to go. You're, you're asking some people that have oh, not yeah. seen the movie. None of us have seen it. Yeah, I'd have to yeah. Yeah, the actually, original. call your daughters up. <laughs> actually, I don't know if they're gonna be up for that conversation. Mm. How was it? Remember How the nineteen sixty nine classic? Yeah, yeah. Well, did it Tell me what you up? thought about the graphics. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, these are two kids that play Five Nights at Freddy all the time. Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. That's what it's called. That's terrifying. Yeah. Oh, just wait. You you got about two more years. Your kids gonna be addicted to it too. I'll be like, you're not playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I. Or well, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese and I'm cutting the, the lights off. What the fuck is Five Nights at Freddy's? I, I don't have don't children know. yet. It's a, uh, I mean, I'm it's not, not white. A chil- it's not a children's <laughs> game. No, it's not, it's it's not, not a children's, children's game. game. Okay. You 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 are hired as, as like a security guy for the night shift at like a the closing time of like a. This is a game like gaming yeah, yeah, system. Like yeah. a Chuck E. Oh. And, and the animatronics try to kill you the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't understand why my kids play it. Anxiety like, inducing. Yeah. But you they love think, it. And oh there's, a, there's a movie coming out this year for, that's based on Five Nights at Freddy, the video game. And mm. like, they want to see it. And I'm like, I think that's a terrible it's idea. It's going to be rated R, but you're going to take them? Oh, no, you can no. always take a kid in there if they're rated R. I'm not. Okay. No. Uh. I think Seth Green's in it, right? That makes it terrifying. <laughs> yeah. What do you do with animatronics? I don't know. Seth Green doesn't really have a... <laughs> He's about to say, dude. No. But I say that sounds like you. <laughs> That's not how it didn't really sound like anybody. Seth and you like been, you tried it. Seth no, Green's Scotty. been doing an impression of Zach this whole time. Mm. The whole time. You've been stealing somebody's. I break out and I just talk like, guys, this is what I really talk like. I'm putting on a voice the entire time. They said that about Michael Jackson. Facts. He had a deep voice. Really? Oh, really? Correct. I heard that uh, Stevie Wonder can see. I heard that too. Shaq said that. Yeah, Shaq, and I think he was playing, but Anthony I think he was for real at the same time too. Anthony was because he got on the he got on he, he got on the elevator when he was like, "What's up, Shaq?" He was like, "No, no, the it, fuck." Yeah, I saw that. What? No, he said <laughs> that wasn't what he said to him. He said he said he said what's up. He said something about like what's up, Diesel. Oh yeah, Diesel. Yeah, like <laughs> what? How do you know? Well, you, you can't just feel me. Paul McCartney was it? It wasn't Paul McCartney. It was somebody else. Somebody else said the same thing though. They were like they they said like he uh. Stevie Wonder walked right up to him, like rock walked right up to him and said, "Hey, so and so, take me to the microphone." Mm. He was like, "You walked." Oh, it was Anthony Anderson. Mm-hmm. Anthony Anderson. Anthony Anderson was like, "It's like, bro, you just walked up to me. Why didn't you just walk over to the mic?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Elton John yeah. said that he let he let uh, Stevie Wonder jump on his uh, his not jet ski but snowmobile. And then he rode that thing all the way down to the uh, down to the mall. Oh, all the way where? All the way where? Bro, where? where? And he the, ride it? All the way down the hill. Like, what? What is he out there with a stick? Like, oh, there's a tree. No. There's a tree. There's a tree. But, El- <laughs> but Elton John, Elton John was like, he's like, I figure if he crashed, that's just one less com- one less person to be yeah. competition. Yeah. Oh my god! My god! Optimism. Yeah. Damn. Is Stevie still living? That well, so is Elton John. Yeah. You know, Elton John lives in Atlanta. Oh, R.I.P. I, uh, I, I don't that. think we said it. R.I.P. to Tina Turner, too. Yep. We, we did this weekend. Okay, but I didn't get to say it, sir. No. You know, from the black what song, community. What song did the... Because I couldn't It remember. was What's Love Got to Do With What's It. What's Love Got to Do With That. That's right. The most it. important That's Tina it. Turner song Who said ever. Incubus or Coheed? It was Incubus. No, Coheed. No, it was Coheed. 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 Okay. 
Incubus, for some reason, did uh, a Beatles uh, Aerosmith. Yeah, it was kind of disrespectful. It was a cover of a cover. Yeah, but it was kind of disrespectful. You should have did Tina cover if you was going to do that. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That would have been good. Again, Coheed's a better band, so what do you It say? makes sense why you like them. <laughs> but they, they don't have the better merch, though. Let's say that. What? They don't. You, the shirt I got was you said for, I got you, the same Incubus one you got. But you said for sure that my shirt was harder. You said that. I know. I said it was good. The no, one you I got said I good. wanted that shirt. The, you said you wanted that. Y'all compete shirt. about no. shirts? Yeah, correct. This is a thing. Correct. My shirt is the multicolored one with the guitar. We pay, we're competing oh. over $45 shirts. Oh. Yeah, these are balling. Well, no, we're just suckers. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> no, no, I'm like Denzel. I had to leave with something <laughs> to prove that I was there. I'm like Denzel too. Get your motherfucking hands off. Wasn't the experience? No, nah, I couldn't take that with me. I needed a shirt. Oh, Zach still owes me forty dollars. Yeah, I do. Damn it. Go ahead, cash out that man. No, cash out that man. What are you doing? Cash out. Oh, because you were playing dad. Mm, yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah. 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 Money to buy yeah. a t-shirt. I didn't bring enough money. Can you help me? <laughs> God damn it, this is your allowance. Do you want a beer? You're washing my car. <laughs> God, That'd be $55. Well, Shiana, <laughs> did, did you have anything else that you want? No? She just oh, wanted to uh, see what we was going to do, man, and we well, did do it. Wanna, do you want to in the in, in the show for your, your show? Of course, absolutely. Um, you know, I always tell people to meditate and hydrate. Y'all y'all, aren't meditating or hydrating, are you? You I, are I, hydrating. Uh, I'm not going to say I uh, meditate, but I do do small prayers in the morning okay that's acceptable no i do that too <laughs> every morning more lows uh, <laughs> uh, I, I i i don't i don't know that it classifies as as meditation but you know i i do tend to uh try and at least project uh my day ahead mm. set an intention yeah um, I don't always write it down, and sometimes I don't. I don't ever write it down. Uh, but I, I do try to at least uh, think about the direction that I want the day to go in. And then if I've set that path, and it's easier to confine yourself to the path. But is it a little easier when you work from home to be able to direct where you want to go? Like, You'd be too much more mentally. Yeah. You mm. can, yeah, can... mentally. You'd, oh, okay, you'd be okay. surprised. Mm. That's like people always say, like, "Well, you work for, in an office." I'm like, dude, I just fucking like. Manual labor is one thing, but you just turn Correct. your brain off and strain and suck all day. You're right. You got, and, when you do, and get horrible emails. Oh my god! So oh. Send horrible emails. Crawling yeah, up your ass and stuff, dude. It's that. I've never had a, such a nerve wracking job. All mm. the time. Dealing mm. with people all the time. You wish you can go back to the regular force? No. Okay. <laughs> That's like I love the AC. <laughs> I do. <laughs> the light is killing me. <laughs> Well, Shiana, thanks for being on our show. Thank you, Shiana. We appreciate you inviting on yours. Uh, As always, thanks, everybody. This was episode number 158 of the All About Nothing podcast. Thanks, Zach King. Thanks to Trent Clark. And uh, again, thank you, Shiana, for being here. We got to come actually do your show, though. Like a whole show. She's going to put this on her. I know, but I'm saying like a full episode all on her. That works. Uh, Links to all of our past episode podcast platforms, merchandise, and social media uh, media are available on our webpage, theallaboutnothing.com. If you think... Uh, our financial model of giving away free content and entertainment is silly and you're in the giving mood. Why not become an official nothinger and support the show? Visit the allaboutnothing.com and click on the support link near the top of the page. You can pre- subscribe. You can subscribe, not subscribe. Mm. This is a prescription of I prescribe you a daily dose of sanity. Uh, you can subscribe monthly uh, at varying levels of membership tiers and click on the tips link if you just want to give a one-time donation. We or you can those. do the highest tier if you're cool. That's very cool. Uh, if you'd like to join in the conversation, you can also join our Discord channel. Click on the banner at the top of the webpage. Please subscribe to the show. Links, uh, like, and follow the Facebook and Twitter, and share uh, us with your family, especially the red ones. Uh, also with your friends. So. Red-headed ones or red ones? The red, the red family. Okay. You, you know. We know. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. You all stay safe and... Have a week. I'm going to the beach. Flex. You ain't got to flex on everybody, man. The All About Nothing podcast is produced and engineered by me, Bear Gruber, and recorded from the podcast studio at GOT Sound Studio in Lexington, South Carolina. GOT Sound Studio is owned and operated by Neek the Geek. Visit GOTSoundStudio.com for details on studio rental, production, and engineering. Thanks to Cake for our intro music, Sick of You. You can follow everything Cake the Band at CakeMusic.com. Thanks to Muff the Producer for our outro music. You can follow Muff on Instagram at Muff the Producer. Thanks to Trent Clark, a.k.a. D. DJ Lonzo. Join him weekly at the venue in Columbia.
Columbia, South Carolina for the Saturday All-Star Drag Brunch and Sundays at the Review Drag Brunch. You can also contact Trent for all your entertainment needs, Trent at theallaboutnothing.com and on Instagram, TheRealDJLonzo. You can also phone him, 803-262-7982. Thanks to Zach King. You can follow him on Instagram, at KingZach07 and on Twitter, at CarolinaKing21. I am Barrett Gruber. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter, at Barrett Gruber, or visit my link tree slash Barrett Gruber. Want to support the show? Visit our page, theallaboutnothing.com and become a member. There are several tiers available, including memberships that give you early access to episodes, as well as exclusive content. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. To find links to our social media, merchandise, and past episodes, as well as other details, visit theallaboutnothing.com. If you'd like to be heard on the show, you can call and leave us a message. Dial 803-672-0533. If the time between these episodes is more than you can handle, check out our partner podcasts. Zach and I host What the Pod Was That with Carrie Simmons. Visit whatthepodwasthat.com for links and details. Ami takes a deep dive down the rabbit hole in episodes of Welcome to Wonderland. Available on all of your podcast platforms. As well, you should check out DJ Lonzo's Top 5. Available on all of the podcast listening platforms. Please subscribe and share the show. If you're on YouTube, please like and hit the notification bell. The All About Nothing podcast is a product of Barrett Gruber Entertainment and Media. Thank you for listening. This episode of the All About Nothing podcast is brought to you by Blank Canvas Brand. If you own a business, restaurant, or sports team and you're ready to shake things up with that new, unique image, you need to use Blank Canvas Brand. Blank Canvas specializes in brand identity, including logos and graphics for business cards, flyers, banners, and signs. Blank Canvas offers printing services to help with your clothing needs. Look, when it comes to talent and service, there is no one better. For more information, you can search Facebook for Blank Canvas or you can email blankcanvas at theallaboutnothing.com. That's B-L-N-K-C-A-N-V-S at theallaboutnothing.com. You can find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. This episode of The All About Nothing podcast is brought to you by GOT Sound Studio. GOT Sound Studio offers a variety of experiences. Music, voice, and instrumental recording and production, video, and still photography. GOT Sound Studio has all of your media needs met. Owned and operated by Dominique Stewart, the Neek the Geek, experienced artists as well as up-and-coming will find everything they need to create. Bring your media needs to one of the most talented producers and engineers in the business, Neek the Geek. You can find details by visiting gotsoundstudio.com or calling 803-243-2302. You can also find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com.